Welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Um, I am here today, we were talking about uh, some of the work that uh, Koichi Wakata is working on today um, to install what is called the CubeSat deployer um, so of the NanoRx. Um, and so here with me today is Mike Johnson. Mike is the uh, NanoRx Chief Technology Officer. Thank you for coming out to talk with us about CubeSat and its deployer and what's going on in space right now and, and some of the <laughs> other you. payloads that have uh, arrived on the Cygnus. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, just to uh, briefly explain what NanoRacks does, um, we started out with flying payloads on the inside of the space station and uh, to date we've flown approximately 120 payloads since uh, 2010 and uh, they range uh, in spectrum from say biological experiments to little fluid experiments. Uh, we've flown a lot of high school uh, and uh, university experiments too so we're, uh, we're as a company we're trying to get uh, say the normal person into space if you will. And one of the things that happened uh, last year uh, JAXA, the Japanese Space Program, gave us the opportunity to launch a uh, CubeSat, which is a little small satellite. It's about uh, four inches square cube, four by four. What I imagine. Yeah, it's it, they're just they're really small satellites. They're little cubes. Uh, it was a standard that was in, in devised about 2000, and um, they haven't flown a lot of CubeSats yet because they're kind of hard to fly on. I think we're actually getting uh, some video. This is from this, uh, yes, the small satellite go. deployment. This happened back in uh, November. Yes. So it's very similar to that when it, when it yes, launches out. Yes, okay. exactly. And that was our, actually our second launch of CubeSats. Our first launch occurred in October of uh, 2012. Sure. And so what happened at the company, um, we were originally going to use the, the Japanese uh, JSOD deployer, which is a f very fine system. Um, but uh, we realized that we started the, the phone started ringing off the hook. Everybody wanted to fly CubeSats on the uh, on the space station, launch them off the space station. So, um, because of this high demand, we decided to uh, fabricate these okay. deployers. And so you brought actually this is the deployer. So this is what Wakata is is working yes. to install. He's installing now. actually eight of these deployers. To give you an idea, we have a total of. 33 separate satellites that we flew up on Orbital One. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we believe this will be a world record deployment of a number of satellites in one one uh, deployment. It'll take a few days. It'll, it'll take uh, probably a couple weeks to deploy all the satellites from the space. And so, station. how many is he going to have? Well, uh, today he's installing eight of these deployers. It will okay. take two experiment airlock openings to actually uh, deploy all the satellites. Okay. So and the we're first. We're getting some downlink right now. Right, and what what. Uh, Kuichi-san is installing here is the uh, control box for the deployers, and then he later installed uh, eight of the deployers, and eight is the maximum we could fit in the airlock, wow. and so we're trying to maximize the airlock utilization. The airlock is just behind Kuichi-san right now, and so once he's loaded uh, all of the deployers onto this pallet, the MPEP pallet, it will go out through the airlock, and then the uh, Japanese robotic arm will grab the uh, the pallet that he was putting right. uh, the deployers on. And so this here, this end, if, I don't know if you sure. can show this, but sure, this is, this. is this where... This is a little launched. door, it's like a little barn door that opens up. We've got the CubeSats, are, uh, there are typically two satellites arranged in here, and they have a little spring on the back. And so this little actuator on the side here goes, it connects to the control box, and from the Japanese control center on the ground, they command to fire the uh, the satellites. Once the arm and everything's in position, they uh, press the button, and that's what happens. The CubeSat kind of deploys, and and they they actually go a little bit. The CubeSats are deployed a little bit below, and then they go in front of the uh, International Space Station due to orbital mechanics, and. So they get out of the uh, out of the way, say of the space station, so they won't collide with the space station, okay. and they begin their operations. So to give you an idea of what CubeSats actually do, um, we have uh, the majority of our CubeSats on this flight right now are from a commercial company um, that uh, is doing uh, imagery work. Okay. Okay. Uh, the company's called Planet Labs, and they're basically these small telescopes. They're uh, three cube units long, so about 300 millimeters by 100 by 100 millimeters. And they look down at the Earth and take pictures of the Earth. Wow. And eventually, I, I think the goal is to send these images to people like Google Earth. So, you know, from a 
I guess from a, a, a user standpoint, this is probably one of the fastest links from space to Earth. Yeah. You know, you'll be able to look at your house on uh, Google Earth from these satellites. Well, that is exciting. Now, we also have a couple other really exciting uh, payloads on board, too, or CubeSats. Um, we have uh, two Lithuanian satellites and one Peruvian satellite. These satellites will turn these countries into spacefaring nations. They're the first satellites to be uh, deployed in space from these nations. We also have a couple of other uh, uh, commercial uh, CubeSats that we've flown on board too, but uh, as I said, it'll take uh, two airlock openings, so it'll, we'll be going probably throughout the better part of February deploying wow. these satellites. Well, that is very exciting. Thank you so much for coming. We're just about out of time here. But real quick, can you tell me about when, when are these uh, to be deployed, the ones that he's uh, installing now? The first set would be uh, February uh, 6, I believe we're going to start the deployments. And then the, the second set hasn't been scheduled yet, but it'll probably be a couple weeks later. So okay. uh, just a quick shout out too, I have to say, this is all Texas built. Uh, <laughs> Texas built. <laughs> for, for, for our Texans in the room here. Um, sure. But uh, 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 Quad M, a, a local uh, manufacturer up just outside of Austin, uh, McDade, Texas, uh, made most of this. And we're just really happy to, to uh, put uh, Texas folks to work on this. Very good. Well, we are proud of Texas here in Texas. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out again. Uh, this it. is all very, very exciting and fascinating to uh, hear about, and uh, we'll be watching. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.